In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the fly-through object transition effect within the Vinci Resolve 17 free version. I will show you a simple and fast transition effect which you can use in different situations. This effect is frequently used in travel videos, but you may use this technique in any project of yours as long as it corresponds with your requirements. The whole creation workflow is done in the Edit and Color page. Let's see today's intro first and then I will show you how to create this simple effect. Welcome to new tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to build a fly-through object effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. So let's go first to Media Pool to grab some video clips. So we're gonna take this one, so let's just grab without any sound. We're gonna put it on layer two. So, and we're gonna take this one as well. So we're gonna put it on layer one. And uh, let's see the duration of the clip. The clip is 24 seconds long, so let's change it to five seconds. So let's check this one as well. So it's 18, five seconds. So change it. Next thing, let's go and close media pool and uh, let's go to inspector. So you can see that video clip that you have, have some imperfections. So let's say it's a bit wobbly. So what we're gonna do, so first we're gonna go to stabilization. So let's highlight this one and stabilize the footage. And uh, next thing is let's do with this one as well so let's stabilize this video footage as well so now we have both of them but uh, if you look at like this it's quite rough so we're gonna change the speed so let's press ctrl r and we're gonna just drag it a little bit so we're gonna go with let's say 50% so we're gonna see the duration of this clip now so we're gonna change it uh, anyway we change the duration so now we can see that it's quite nice soft and we have five seconds uh, quite nice we're so gonna change it this as well so let's press ctrl r change the also the speed with this one let's go with 50 percent as well so this way we can get more stable footage so let's press ctrl r again let's change the duration of this clip so next thing is let's uh, close inspector here and let's jump to color page so first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna mask this phone so let's go to window uh, tool just press it on it let's go to pen tool and just go and mask this screen uh, go a little bit wider and don't go directly to, to to the line but go a little bit wider because we can just use soft edge so a little bit so this way we're gonna get really nice design or and also you can use inside or outside softness so now we have this mask that we have that we put on on the phone and uh, next step is let's go to tracker we can put our tracker to to the beginning and we can play through so the tracker will do its job properly so you can see that there is a bit uh, movement here anyway so we're gonna go and try again otherwise we're gonna use frame only so let's go back and see what has happened so much better yeah looks good so next thing is let's go and right click add alpha output and let's connect this square with this dot so next thing let's go back to window tool and go to pen tool and just invert the image so one thing is we can go back to our edit page 
and we can see that the image is on the phone but we would like to have some movement that uh, can be can do like zoom in or zoom out so let's go to inspector open inspector and let's go to dynamic zoom so just tick and make the the dynamic zoom active go to ease in and out so next thing is go to this uh, drop down menu open it and click on dynamic zoom so now you're gonna see red and green uh, square here so we need to just put this square inside the phone so we're gonna move it a little bit like this and we're gonna maybe change a little bit also the red one but let's leave it for now like this and uh, let's play it through so you can see nothing special it's a nice effect and uh, that's basically it so now we can do something different as well so let's go back to media pool and uh, let's go bring in another video clip just put it here Control D you can see the duration of this clip let's go with five seconds change it so we can basically it's drawn footage very little movement so we're gonna leave it like this and one thing we can just copy this with alt and just drag it to another side and what we're gonna do here uh, we're gonna change basically we're gonna change the red and green rectangle here so we're gonna just go with this one to phone so we're gonna change it put it here and of course we're gonna put green rectangle back and like this so and now we can see that we can go back directly as reverse video clip so one thing that we can do here as well we can just use effect so let's go to the toolbox with the transition and we're gonna use let's say crossfade crossfade and we're gonna put it here so we still have a little bit more so we're gonna just shorten this one so we're gonna put this dissolve in and let's close this inspector and everything so that we're gonna be able to see what we have done so let's go to full screen and play it through this is basically it this is the basic fly through object effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 so if you have any questions regarding this effect please let me know down in comments uh, anyway thank you for watching and see you next time fast and easy and effective as per usual once again thank you for watching and if you find this tutorial helpful hit that thumbs up you can also leave your feedback suggestion or comments below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe it will help my channel to grow much faster there are many tutorials on this channel which can help you to upgrade your knowledge or just refresh your memories so take your time and watch my other tutorials as well I would like to thank all new subscribers that have joined us. Really appreciate it. So till next time, take care and have a good one.